By now we've shown you some entry level sports cars that are great fun on the track and then we've shown you a good way to get those cars out on the track and enjoy some legal speeding. But what if you wanted to take it a step further? Let's say you wanted to become a weekend racer or race competitively or even become a pro racer. Well, that can be really expensive. You gotta build your own race car. If you wreck it, who even knows what happens? So a good way to do that is by coming to Skip Barber here and do, trying out for the Formula 2000 series, okay? What you have to do is take their advanced racing school and then if you pass, you're qualified to race in their series. And then you just pay per weekend and they handle everything else. So I'm gonna take their advanced racing class today, get in these Formula 2000 cars, drive a little bit, and uh, we'll see if I pass. And if I do, then you can come race with me. So let's go drive something. This episode of Garage 419 is brought to you by Valvoline's automotive series Under the Hood with Brandon and the Frog. Watch for new episodes at brandonandthefrog.com. Phil Lombardi, the lead instructor for this particular Skip Barber program. Good to see you again, man. Good to see you, Matt. Now, uh, what's your background in racing, anyway? Well, I started off uh, go-kart racing for about 10 years, won several national championships, uh, moved into several. F2000, uh, won some regional national championships there, and racing uh, pro F2000 cool. right now, currently. All right, that sounds that sounds respectable. I think that I think you were qualified like to, to think teach so. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. All right. So what are we doing in these in this two day school? Okay. Well, we're going to start today off with a little chalk talk, a little refresher on vehicle dynamics. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to get you up to the, our autocross, a little miniature racetrack. We can uh -huh. start shifting the, the car. We can start looking at your tendencies. Uh, from there, we'll that'll bring us up to about midday. We'll break. We'll have a little bite to eat. We'll get in the cars, we'll lead you around the racetrack, see if you can catch an instructor. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that'll help you get you online a little easier. Uh, and then we'll do a round of what we call stop box, where we, uh, you do open lapping but stop every time at the stop box so we can give you some feedback. All right. Uh, that'll bring us to, that'll close out the first day. And, and then uh, the second day, we'll uh, just start some open lapping. We'll go out there, open lapping. Nice. Uh, no rev limits, uh, some, some rules of the road though, no passing brake zones, no passing in the corners, because right. we are still learning the craft here. Right. So uh, I'm an amateur, I'm, yeah, an, I'm amateur and, at best. Yeah, yeah and as, as well as the other students. As, so, yeah. uh, you know, we try to, we try to bring you, uh, you know, along uh, in a safe manner. Right. Uh, you want to have fun, you want to do it safe, but you got to learn, you know, that's, 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 the, that's the goal. Tell me about the uh, Formula 2000 race car. Oh, uh, this is a, a great school car. It's, uh, it's based on a Formula Ford. Uh, wings, uh, treaded tire, so we got to get some slip angle involved, so you slide the car around, so uh, a great deal of car control required to drive them quickly. Five-speed sequential gearbox, two-liter motor, 140-ish horsepower. What's it weigh? A uh, little over 1,100 pounds, so you throw you in there, okay. what's that, about 1,200 then, and uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, so, you know, it's got a pretty good power to weight ratio. All right, well, it looks like I'm going to have some fun, I think. I think this You're is You're going to have time. a blast. Believe it or not, there are certain problems with cars that you can detect solely by smell. So when he gets here, we's gonna have ourselves a good old fashioned smell off. You ready to lose this smell off? You wanna bet on it? Sure, whatever you want. But when I win, you have to do the show in a Speedo and a, some Chicks Tierra. You know, no one's perfect, not even me, although I am that close. But sometimes I need my go-to guys for stuff. For instance, if I want an apple or a banana, come to this fruit stand right here. If I need emotional support, I got this guy right here on 29th and Park, who uh, apparently used to be some kind of, I don't know, psychologist or something. If my car starts smelling funny, the first thing I do is I watch Under the Hood with Brandon and the Frog at brandonthefrog.com, and then I take my car to my local ASC certified mechanic, who can usually tell him what's wrong with it. And uh, he doesn't start rambling about fish and other weird stuff. This guy creeps me out, I don't know. All right, so here we have Ryan Hall, one of my other instructors here for this program, and we're doing a three-part series about teaching people how to get into racing. Right. So first of all, how did you get into racing? I started off racing carts okay. um, back when I was about 10 years old. Mm -hmm. um, luckily, my dad was into it. That helps. And, and huge help. You can't really buy your own cart at 10. 
I tried, it didn't work. <laughs> so um, luckily he sponsored me there. Cool. Uh, and we started, you know, did that for all seven or eight years or so. Mm -hmm. uh, and then where, where do you go from there? Like, let's say someone is, is, is like in high school now mm -hmm. and they want to start getting into racing. I mean, obviously coming to Skippy would be a good idea. Absolutely. Um, you know, just coming to Skip Arbor is, of course, a great start. You know, yeah. we have many different programs there from the driving schools onto the racing schools. Um, if you didn't want to do that, uh, a, a good place to start is, is autocrossing. Mm -hmm. You know, just going out and you could take any car, any stock car, and it's, you know, it's a time trial event. Yeah. You know, it's basically, uh, you know, maybe about a quarter mile or so course in a parking lot with a bunch of cones. Yeah, so. they have those everywhere. It's like you can you can always find them. If you go to, you know, scca.com or if you go anywhere or just type in autocross, you know, there's, there'll probably be quite a few in, in, you know, in any area. So what about, what what's the next step up from there? Just going to track days? You can start off doing track days. If you want to skip that, you know, if you, if you came and did our Skip Barber School, you're then eligible for your SCCA regional license. Mm -hmm. So there you can run SCCA regional events and just about any car you can think of. Yeah. And then from there, you can go down to, you know, racing nationals and depending on your funding, you know, just maybe going up and, and um, doing Formula some pro one, stuff. Of course, Formula One. Formula One, one obviously, obviously. Go straight to Formula One. Just skip all the other steps, they're overrated. All right, <laughs> well, thanks for uh, the knowledge. Hopefully our, our fans will enjoy. I hope so too. And uh, I, I want, I, you know, I don't really want to talk anymore. I want to go drive cars. Let's go. Let's go drive cars. All Let's right. do it. guys have it. I have graduated from Skip Barber Advanced Racing School and uh, I am going to come back. I'm going to compete in the series. And I'm also going to continue uh, tracking my Corvette which is uh, in a million pieces right now. You guys will see it soon. I hope we've uh, done a good job of showing you some good entry level sports cars, good way to get those out on the track and a good way to continue that education into what could be a career in racing man. Racing is awesome. I love it. An open wheel car is kick ass. So maybe I'll see you guys out there on the track. Ooh. Mm -hmm.